Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Feel free to make a call or I guess just walk on in to Shea Solid because you'll definitely find a table as we are definitely not filling our tables up. Uh, we're coming close to the end of another beautiful day here in restaurant land. Recipe for disaster. Having a blast. The last episode was a lot of fun and it's time to bring this restaurant into its final shape and form. I have having, I'm having an issue. Okay, don't look at this. This restaurant needs more people urge. I mean, does it though? I'm having an issue, as I was trying to say, uh, getting 20 seated tables. I, as you know, that's where we were in the last episode. We now have all of the five-star reviews we'd ever need. We are making uh, mad amounts of profit, uh, but we can't get these tables seated. And I've had a couple of rush hours and a couple of school bus buffs that have definitely gotten close. Uh, but let's see, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, technically eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have 26 tables. I need to get, uh, if I want all of the thing, I need to get 40 tables. So I need another uh, 14 tables. That's not going to be easy with what I've planned. We'll see what we can do today. But I mean, I don't even know if I'll get to a 40 uh, table restaurant, let alone seating. Uh, 20 people. So I'm not sure what it is that I've done wrong here and feel free to postulate in the comments below But I'm very proud of this restaurant and how it looks I think one thing we could do is like so for example like right here Maybe once this single uh, diner is done with the people just came hanging around them. Oh No, this was a date. This was a date. Never mind. But once this table is uh, wrapped up here what we could do is place a door here as well I'm wondering if it's the this is our only entrance. So maybe if we get an entrance here and an entrance around here, it'll feel a little more inviting of a restaurant. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is that has led to like fewer tables. Sorry, I have the hiccups, you see. I, I always get the hiccups when I go to record a video. I wonder if that's like a stress thing. I don't know what that is. At any rate, I'm really happy with the way this restaurant turned out. I just wish more people would show up. So once the day is done, which it is, we'll see how we did on our finances. We had a decent day today. Obviously, like, brought in a lot of money very quickly. Uh, it's day 52. Had a slight change in our popularity. It's dipped a little bit. That's no good. Finances are uh, still holding steady at about 1,300 doubloons a day. Like, nothing crazy. Not really, We're not making huge profit. And we could, of course... Um, yeah, everybody seems to be working decently hard, too. We could, of course, uh, you know, raise these prices. Maybe that's a thing. But I guess I was worried that the raising the prices was what was driving people away. So we're going to go down to 25 tables if I sell this. So we've sold this, and I'm going to put in a door here. Why? I don't know. We're just going to see if this is maybe part of the thing. We could do a two-way door here. It's a little bit, like, nestled, though. You know what I mean? It kind of wants to be, like... What about this glass door, two, two ways glass door like that? I mean, we'll see. We'll see if it creates an entrance. And we'll, uh, you know, it's like just like a little side entrance just for fun. We're in build mode. Okay. Paint floor. Let's get some uh, tiles in here and uh, duplicate that. There we are. And I guess we can't put an awning over that, but we can put some lights over it. Uh, what are the ones we use outside? Uh, similar to the ones we use inside, actually. So let's go like lights. There, there's kind of like another entrance to the restaurant there. So that's taken one table down, uh, but maybe that'll be more street traffic in from that side? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. I think they all have to go to the queue sign. Uh, I did also tool around with moving this closer, as you can see, but I don't know. That didn't really do much. So we'll just move it there. Yeah, just kind of keep it there. That kind of looks nice. Actually, maybe even just, honestly, just let's move it one forward. Let's just keep it there. I think it looks nice out there like that. Um, but really what we're after today and let's uh, maybe move these items. Let's try to like keep these uh, Plants we'll see we'll see if we can use them in places But really what we're after today is the final form of this restaurant and Then we're gonna get it going restaurant is not accessible blah blah blah. Let's we'll put that there for now We're gonna we're gonna get it going We're gonna get some folks coming into our outdoor patio and see what they think to to that end I think well, how many uh, tiles was this because we want to kind of mirror this it was uh, three away, so uh, one, two, three is sort of our wall. We're going we're gonna to wall it this way because I want as much space out here as we can. We still need to get the bathroom, which I think I think we should just keep like right here. How many is that? I think that's four, isn't it, uh, for a decent bathroom? 
One, two, three, four. Okay, it's hard to do the math on, but yeah. So we'll have our bathroom right here. I still want to do that hallway thing here. And then maybe is there a way to get a staggered look here as well, just for the artsiness of it. Oh, we can't sell because we got these lights here, so I gotta sell all these little Christmas lights. But don't worry, we'll get those back up and maybe another Christmas tree just for fun. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so that feels good. Hold on, let's uh, let's take a look at our options here. I guess if we sold that all off, I think we did that in the last episode. We added that, but now things are getting a little bit uh, confused. Okay, let's sell this off. Keep that. Oh, okay. We'll sell these off first, and then we'll sell these walls. Okay, so that gives us a bit of a shape here, but I'd like to stagger if possible. Because then I can get another couple of seats in here. Three. Three. What if I just put it? Yeah, what if we do that? Okay, what does this look like? Could we get some tables in here in a way that's interesting to look at? Or is that going to be annoying? Okay, let's copy this uh, over here. Okay. Over there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Black wall. There and there. Okay, that's going to be good. Then we'll go with the brick outside here. We went, we, we've went. we decided to like just commit to this brick. And again, thanks for the comments and the design tips. Keep them coming as always because I think it makes me a better simulator player. <laughs> okay, okay, this feels good. This feels okay. This is, it's pretty, it's not ideal, right? It's not like an amazing entrance. What do we have here? We could do a single door entrance, but I kind of wanted a double door. One, two, three, like that allows me to put a booth here and a booth here, uh, which I do like. So what we could do actually is like, let's move this a wall out one more or, or retract it by one. Because I will say the amount of, oops, oops, oops. <laughs> the amount of, uh, uh, wait, sorry, here. Uh, bathroom usage I've seen hasn't been that bad. Like I, I think we might be able to keep up with it with a sort of somewhat chill, like a smaller bathroom maybe. Okay, so we'll do something like this and this. Then I think the door to the bathroom would need to be uh, here. What kind of door do we use there? Yeah, it's like a private door, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we'll just keep that one then. Private door into the bathroom. Uh, we'll just copy this. I don't think we need to like really break the mold with bathroom technology. You know what I mean? Like I think we don't have to go crazy with our, our, our design for our bathroom. Oh, I wanted to... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just redo this. It's I think it's easier than going in and painting after if we select the wall tool and then select the uh, the type, this thing. That's what I want to build. Yeah, there we go. Build the wall. Oops. There we go. Here. Come along. Now, this is going to be great because this is going to be a useful bathroom for all of the all of the outdoor diners as well. But it's also not... Oh, I always misplace. It's also not going to get in the way of uh, servers getting food. Now, should I just leave that there? So if you want to go to this bathroom, you have to go into this dude's stall and then into this one. <laughs> okay, I'll move it. I'll move it. I'll move it. Okay, great. And then some uh, decent toilets like this. No, let's go with like, like these toilets, which are like more traditional because it, it demonstrates, unlike this bathroom, it demonstrates that we trust our clientele. Uh, duplicate. All along here. What do I want to do with that bathroom? I guess we could just do this. I think that might just... Yeah, let's put a plant there just because it's going to be too crazy. Uh, you know, it's going to get cluttered near the doorway. Duplicate this. Oops. Uh, we could keep that there. I don't know. Why not? You know, why not? Let's duplicate this guy over to there. And duplicate that. You know, I always, I used to think like, oh, we want the privacy in that bathroom, but if this is a fairly big public bathroom. I think you just want the sense and to give the people a sense that it's like, no, no, you're, you're in a public bathroom. Uh, you know, this isn't full privacy. Don't, don't do anything weird in here, please. Uh, I guess that's our light. So let's put like a little, a plant in here, which I think, and again, we got a window in the bathroom now, so it's going to look good. I think I liked these ones the best. No, maybe this one in the, in there. Very nice. Okay, so we've got our bathroom. We've got this hallway idea that leads to the bathroom. And then I believe, yeah, we can place a double door right there, which is going to look nice, and maybe even get, like, little tables right there. Uh, okay, so 
double door. We could just copy this one, but let's go with one of those big patio ones just because why not? Fancy wide glass too. Like one of these big boys. I think that's going to look cool. I think it's going to look classy. We can even go with these big old windows. I'm going to get a center one in there. I guess we'll just duplicate this. Here and here. And then nothing along there. I mean, I think that's okay. I think that looks kind of classy. Okay. So then the uh, floor tool is going to come into play right down here. I don't know if we want to have it. Uh, oh, I, lo I just love the eyedropper tool, to be honest. I don't know if... Yeah, do we want this to be... Like, that's kind of weird, right? To have no border. What if the border's here? Okay. And then it's just this kind of tile. Over here. Or it could even just be tile, right? Then I'm going to move this. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's because of my extremely good recipe for disaster skills, but I have not needed to use that fire extinguisher in as far, as long as I can remember. So there we go. There's an access point to the restaurant, to the back kitchen to get the food. That's going to speed up that process again. Thanks for the comments. And I think we're looking at a good little space here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, duplicate this. There we are. Duplicate these lights as well. Over here. Because that's going to look uh, classy as all heck. I'm going to actually move this table there. There, I feel like that's better. That's good, yeah. That feels good. We've got some, some of those in there. So th if I'm not mistaken, that should be 27 tables now. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yes, okay, 27. So uh, we need like 13 more tables out here, which is... I don't think that's going to work. Let's try. Let's try. Let's see what happens. I'm going to move these trees out of the way for now. We'll try to get those back in there. Uh, let's focus up on this area here. I think we could do that little, like, a little uh, section out here. Um, let's get our tables down and then think about, like, the look. Honestly, I really do like these outdoor tables. I really do. And we used them in the last episode, I know. But I'm just... I just feel like using them again. So we're going to go with these little corner tables, right? These go... Ah, they just clip, though, don't they? Okay, okay. Move that out of the way. We'll use that later. Let's do... Let's do a square table just because, obviously... I mean, does that look more... Like, these also look more like patio tables. Kind of. Like, drilled into the concrete, though. But that kind of makes sense for here, maybe. Okay, then I'm going to go for a duplicate. You know what? No, they, they've got to have the the di Italian dining room vibe. I just think so. I just think that this is the case. But then outside, maybe we've got a different... Like, an outdoor, like, these chairs or something. At least around the white tables. That's just the design. I just like that design. But maybe out here we've got these. Oh, those are just the same. We're not really reinventing the wheel here. So there's a couple of, like, two tops there. We could do a whole a nice little four top in here with these chairs. There's three, so I need ten more tables. We can do this, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> so I just don't think, unless we really go for broke here and, like, do... Uh, a bunch of tables, like, really cool. Like, we could get three more tables in here, at least another table in there. We could just jam tables everywhere. But what I'm going for is a restaurant that I'm proud to call home, you know? Oops, that's not duplicate. There, that's duplicate. Yeah, I'm not going to get ten tables in here. We could try. But I don't want to. I guess what I need to do here is, like, this looks nice except for this little row here. What if I, like, uh, delete that, maybe? So that looks nice, but a little weird. Like, some th weird uh, weird three tops here. Why don't we just move that into that corner? Is that still going to work? Interesting. I have a little tetris -y. Those two people are very close together, but maybe that's just, like, restaurants, you know? Like, that looks a lot nicer. Uh, for some reason than this one. These ones are too close together. Why don't we go... And just for now, we gotta delete it. I know, I tried not to. Uh, no, let's go delete, delete, and move here. And move this there. Delete that. I think we can get another one of these in there. Duplicate that three top. 
Like there, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we needed 13, so we need almost double the tables out here. But I just don't feel that that's natural. I just, I don't feel ethical about shoving that many tables in here just to get to that last uh, one. And honestly, like, if I wanted to, if we were getting the customers, then maybe it would seem worth it. But right now, uh, we're not getting the customers. It just doesn't seem quite like a, like something that we need to worry about, I guess. Put this table like there, right there. Okay, let's talk patio floor look. I think let's go with this thing for the entrance. And then let's go with uh, this for the exterior here. And just see what it looks like. A little overkill, isn't it? It's a little too stony. It's a little too like... Oh, you know, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't hate it, is what I was going to say. But let's put some grass back here. Paint the floor. Let's get some grass. Right along there, we'll put some plants there. And let's put some grass over here as well. Grass in this section. Uh, maybe let's move this guy over to there. Eye dropper, that. Okay, perfect. This is feeling good. Now we just need to find some more, like, shrubbery options. Any that we haven't used yet, I'm wondering, like, I cannot wait again, obviously, for the upcoming uh, content releases that the uh, developers have, have uh, hinted at. I wonder when we'll see those, but as of this recording, we have not seen them yet. Uh, so they, you know, they, they remain still a little, a glimmer of hope in my mind. Oh, I mean, that's, it's, let's be honest, folks. It's pretty classy. Let's uh, copy these out here. Like that. That's looking pretty good. You get one here. And then probably some candles on these as well. And then we got to figure out who's going to operate this section. But, like, look at that restaurant. <laughs> look how nice that looks, if I do say so myself. Am I tooting my own horn? Yes, I realize that I am. But, like, you know... That's the whole point of these games, is you're supposed to just, like, do what you want to do, your heart's desire, have a good time. A little slightly low on the ambiance score there, uh, but just be proud of what you've made. We even have room for some more stuff, which we should do. We should try to get some more folks in here, because things are about to get spicy. So, uh, let's organize this, and again, we don't have max tables being filled in our restaurant. Oh, I just love the exterior patio, though. Oh my goodness, that feels great. This is awesome. Now, we could have copied it in here, but I do like this, like, the stranger dining room area feels really good. This little back section feels very intimate and almost diner-esque, so I, I really like that. We got this one single person there uh, able to eat. This is a new entrance here. Maybe we need something here. Let's, let's do that table idea that we did in the last episode. We're going to have a fancy wooden table right here and, uh, like, a candle. Lighting, candle. Okay, and then we're gonna duplicate that so that looks kinda nice. There we go, and we're gonna duplicate this because this is still our festivus Christmassy themed one. So that's nice. That's the entrance there. It's a small entrance, it's a it's a intimate entrance if you if you do say so yourself. <laughs> and then let's put the above plant right there. That looks nice. Oh yeah. Okay. See, that's that's what we're talking about. We're wanna, we want we want to see that detail. We wanna see the 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 gorgeousness of this restaurant really coming to play out here. So this is all feeling very good. I very much like how this turned out. Uh, what we do need to do though is get some uh, cleaning areas sorted out and uh, some staff for this. Now I'd like to put uh, one of our, whoever's in this area here. Oh look, we almost spent all our money, so we did well. I'd like to see whoever's in this area. Who was that? Right, Kylie Minogue Reynolds. Okay, Kylie, this is your section. Friggin', you know what I mean? Good luck. This is actually a lot of tables, so Kylie might find herself pretty in bad sorts here. We actually might... Let's expand. Like, we'll see how this goes, because again, the way this is going, these tables are not getting filled. So this actually might be totally manageable. But this is the outdoor section, and now we have... Victoria, let's copy... Let's duplicate these settings. And paste that. Let's get Kylie basically not in this section anymore. Then what I'm going to do... Actually, no, wait. Let's give... 
highly that table as well. She could, yeah, this whole little section. You know what? Let's t ease Victoria's situation and do that as well. Because who do we have for servers? Okay, well, not everybody's in yet, I don't think. So I want to make sure all my servers get in. We have four sir. Oh, Kylie's already. Okay, Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf. No, no Lone Wolf yet. But once she gets that Lone Wolf, this is this is going to be what we want to do. We've got Victoria managing this. We do have this cleaning area here, which we should uh, take Kylie out of and shrink down to that. Good. Then we make a new cleaning zone here, and we're going to expand this cleaning zone to be this whole section here. And I'm going to put Kylie on this. It's just, she's just got to take care of the outdoors. Is Kylie one of, yeah, there we go. Good. Then we've got this bathroom here, which I think, like, who cleans this bathroom? I don't know who that, this baldy gentleman is. Uh, uh gentle lady. <laughs> Melody, okay. So Melanie's responsible for both washrooms, which is not ideal. She's going to have to clean this washroom and walk all the way over. So I definitely need some more gleam teamers, but right now we, we don't have it. Let's see, what do we have? Do we have a cleaner? Serving four, cleaning two. Proactive. We'll serve random tables if idling. Cool. Oh, wait, okay. Let's hire S Steven. Steven might have to move from Gleam Team over to uh, front of house, but right now I'm putting him in Gleam Team just to train him up for a bit. All right. And what that's going to do is we're going to get him cleaning this area. Uh, who is he? Steven Shaw. You're cleaning that area. And you're going to clean. We're going to put you on the kitchen as well. And then, I don't know, maybe we just... Do we give you some tables to serve? I don't know that we want to see anybody in the cleaning uniform serving tables. So let's see how, like, today goes. And then we can, uh, you know, change it up as we go. But mostly, I just want to see this, this experiment bake. For instance, what's going on over here? Oh, this is a new table. Oh. So wait. Earlier, I had tables in here, and it didn't matter that I didn't have any seats at it. Why is this one complaining? I remember in the last episode, this didn't matter, and I thought it was a new thing. Let's try an experiment. Let's just put a just a table there. Okay. Build mode. Delete. Italian dining table. Same thing. Okay, wait, hang on. New new plan, new experiment. Let's uh, sell that. Let's get the fancy table there that we l want with the candle. Let's get a chair there. Oh, it didn't have a server at it. That's what the problem is. Okay, so let's get rid of this chair because that doesn't matter. And let's put, like, who's the server back here? Melissa. So Melissa's job is this table now. And she's never going to have to worry about that table because no customer will sit there. But at least it's assigned to her for, you know, various cleanup, etc. Okay, so this is Melissa's section. Then I believe we move into Scott, Mr. Scott's section, who's right here. So let's get, let's take uh, Victoria and put her like on. Uh, okay, that's okay. We can just keep her with those. Let's put Melissa... Let's put Scott here and then Melissa as the third in this section. Uh, just so we can... Because I think Olivia's going to run into some trouble. And I think Scott is ready to, you know, be a primary on some more tables than just, like, this little tiny section. So then we got kind of Melissa and Scott, a little bit of Olivia, but mostly Olivia's over here. And uh, uh, who's my new person? Kylie Minogue over here in the outdoor area. And I feel like... We should be good to go there. A lot of people here. What's the? Why are, why are people sad? What are their thoughts? Our team is too small. Listen, I I cannot hire more people because as you can see, you're very expensive. You're something like two two hundred and fifty doubloons an hour. Uh, employees nine hundred. Like look how much I've money I've already spent on you guys today. So I can't afford more staff. I understand that you think it's quite small. Maybe we'll make a few fun recipes. Uh, just to see if we can't spice things up a little bit here. But maybe using ingredients that we already have. I don't know. We don't want to go too crazy with it. It'd be nice to finish up this area. Like, add some more items. I really thought this uh, restaurant 
was going to need to be like absolutely chopped to the gills. Is that the expression? Chopped to the gills? Chalk to the gills? Anyway, chock full of, of cooking, you know, implements. But really, we're able to maintain this restaurant pretty, you know, pretty easily. Um, I mean, this is bad. Like, how many tables do we have right now? I mean, that looks like a fair amount. It's just that they're all spread out. But again, we're not nearing that 20 that we need to at least get. Let alone, we're never going to get to 40, but like, even 30 we're not going to get to uh, at this rate. We'll wait for like a, a lunch rush or a, a bus stop. Oh, it's also important to uh, check in on our staff. So it looks like Kylie is getting pretty upset. A lot of issues. Let's go with... We'll pay more when served by Kylie. I like that. Okay. Kylie's getting pretty upset. So let's do the old classic. We got to go through our staff and click this uh, rotation button here and make sure that everybody is being paid the right amount. Now, you can just keep an eye on it. And if people get a level up, then just go and give them a little pay boost. But for the most part, I just kind of I kind of ignore it, if I'm being honest, because I'll wait until we see that their stress level is getting up there. And then it's fairly easy to deal with veto, not taking any budget. It's fairly easy to deal with when you have um, when you just give them a raise. Then their breaking point, they back right off their breaking point pretty quickly. Uh, it provided that's the only thing that's really upsetting them, which usually in my pro designs, it usually is the only thing that bothers them. These folks seem a little upset but that they're so cramped. It's either cramped or too small. Our team is too small. I saw some cramped ones, but like, your team is not too small. <laughs> I think it's probably uh, that that rating that like our team is too small, you know, debuff is based on how many tables there are. There's a lot of tables, so I imagine that this uh, cooking staff is like, oh man, if all these tables were full, we would be screwed. But since we're just not filling our tables these days, I am not sure what to tell them. I think maybe it's all good. Maybe they're just never going to be stressed again, even though they think the team is too small. Because, <laughs> I mean, the reality is on my end, the team is too expensive. All right, we're coming up on the end of the day here. We don't have a lineup. Okay, four more minutes to seat a couple more people. Looks like we got one more table in. And I think that'll be it. No more new tables. So this is all that's left. And that's another day with uh, decent profits. But, uh, you know, very little, very few folks coming to sit down. Well, as everybody heads off for the night, we've lost two dollars. Oh, never mind. I guess we made a bunch of money. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, we head off for the night, but I just want to pause the game and take a look at this restaurant. Man, I am happy with the way this thing turned out. And I think, like, let's take a look at how today, uh, tomorrow goes by creating a couple of new recipes. So, what do we have in our main course here? We've got bacon frenzy, breakfast hash, that's a sear. We've got a lot of deep fry items. Grill and broil. A couple, another sear item. And this is a grill item. So we could do some more searing. And I thought maybe we could do, um... Some, like, we, we're bringing in lettuce. Like, let's think about the stuff that we bring in. You know what I mean? I think there was a filter for that. Maybe that was... Yeah, that's in my... That must be in my head. Yeah, there's no way to filter for the ingredients we already have. So, but let's make a new recipe here. I'm going to call these uh, some, like, uh, lettuce wraps of some kind. Um, uh, wrapping... You know what I mean? Like, wrapping paper gift. You know what it's like? A wrapping paper... Lettuce wrapped gifts, right? A little Christmassy theme. <laughs> That's dumb. That's dumb. Anyway, we're working on it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is like a seared uh, recipe item. So let's go to our meat section and like, what do we have? Lots of. We've got lots of eggs, ground beef. No hot dogs. We should do a hot dog res uh, restaurant next. I would love that. How about some seared? Let's sear some bacon and chicken breast, and we're gonna go with some. Uh, uh, butter in that to get a buttery thing. So we're going to sear that and then we're going to have a prepared oops, let's go no wait, hang on. What am I doing here? Vegetables. Then we're going to put that on lettuce. Okay, so it's going to, that's a prepare step being added to that. So we're going to add that to lettuce. We'll add in some, uh, we don't have mango, but that would have been kind of nice. Some tomatoes, some chopped tomatoes. And 
some, uh, just like a little spritz of lime, because that gives us a sour vibe. Fresh, decadent, buttery, seared. I love it. Are, do we have like an, any peanuts or something? Is that a thing in this game? <laughs> Uh, oh, no, wait, let's get some brown onion in the sear step. This is getting a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I've got to stop, I think. Because at this point, it's gonna, it's just adding too many ingredients, and that creates a little situation. A little bit extra. Oh, no, wait, what about that balsamic vinegar in there? There we go. Balsamic vinegar, which gives us the, oh, that was, uh, it doesn't, safe, raw, and spice. So it gives us a spiced vibe, but it's not hot, like spicy. And we'll have to get some limes in storage. There it is. There's our lettuce wraps. And they're going to look something like this roasted fish, maybe. Uh, yeah. We'll just do that, because it looks the closest to, like, a lettuce wrap of some kind, because of the green underneath there, I think. So we'll apply that. There we are. Save. Go to our menu. Lettuce-wrapped gifts. <laughs> it does. I've done better. I've done worse. All right. Okay, so then in our food storage here, let's get, like, I don't know, ten, five limes or something. And let's open this. Oh, that we're closing for the night. Right, okay. Well, there we go. There's our there's our new dish that we're going to add. Uh, finances are doing well. Yeah, okay. Today we had uh, it was the renovations. So, yeah, again, we are bringing in customers. It's, things are going okay. Oh, never mind. That was some renovations, some sales of things. Never mind. <laughs> Melissa. Wow, nothing going on in Melissa's life. Okay, that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, corn on the cob salad is still doing okay, and it's at least making the sales uh, list here. Uh, but our Hank bits from the previous episode are certainly not. Uh, they sell occasionally. You'll get like we'll, you'll see like one or two of those dishes go out. The save game is being created, and here we are, our next day, possibly our final day here with this restaurant, open for business. We do have more staff. We could bring in this uh, serving animal lover, Camilla Marshall, and we might, we definitely would need her if uh, we were able to pack these tables. So definitely, like, give me a comment down below if you can pinpoint exactly what it is that's not working with these folks or that's, like, you know, keeping people away. Steven, what do you have? You hate the fryer. Don't really care about that, but let's get you... Lower stress during breaks. Let's make you a chatterbox, because I feel like that will spread out to everybody. If we get a lot of chatterboxes or a lot of calming effects, like anytime we have calming effects, then it's just it just doubles up. Then everybody's getting bonuses. And if everybody has calming, you know, sort of an area of effect that's calming, uh, and they're all near each other, it's just this like it creates this unstoppable uh, effect. Now I am seeing people walking by. These people were walking by and gave me all thumbs down but then still came into the restaurant. But I occasionally see people walk by with a thumbs down, and then they don't uh, come in. And I was wondering if maybe that's what's turning them off of the restaurant, perhaps? Per perhaps, I said? All right, so this is a fairly big set of tables over here. Like, I'd say we're off to a pretty good morning so far. Uh, it is the afternoon already, but that's the other thing, too. It'll become 19 o'clock really quickly. So if you're in debt and you're trying not to end up in debt, it gets really uh, scary as 1,900 hours comes racing towards you. Okay, the ingredients are doing good. Our The hubbub is real inside the kitchen as people race from place to place to get their recipes done on time. Putting dishes up in the window. Look at all these staff. What is this, Space Haven? What is this, my, one of my Space Haven runs where you have, like, maximum crew possible? This is all feeling very good so far. I honestly, I think they're able to just keep up. And yeah, again, we're at 1,500 hours and just, yeah, not that many tables. People are steadily streaming in and we are barely in the green. So this restaurant isn't considered a failure. I wonder if it could be a save and reload thing in terms of like, you know, sometimes people pause here. I don't know. Is there like a spawn rate issue? I, You know, and I hate to blame the game because I, I shouldn't. But I feel like it's got to be something I'm doing wrong that's turning people away. Love to see the outdoor patio being used, though. This is really nice. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, and I think that table is... Yeah, so shout out to who, who gave me that comment. Uh, yeah, having some access doors is obviously going to... Is a really great idea. I really could... I could just do this. Move. Uh, M. That. 
Oh, I can't move that yet. It's being, it's reserved. Okay, there we go. Uh, move it over now. Move this one over. Oh, where do we need to go with that? Okay, okay, okay. I got a plan. Oh, it's being used. Wait till it's not being used. Get out of there. Thank you. Okay. Move this. <laughs> move that. It, okay, why is the move tool being so annoying, annoyed with me? Uh, okay, that object is in use. Great, okay. Move it to there. Move this fridge there. Whew, that took a while, but now we can duplicate this door over. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, we got to get rid of this. There we are. There. So that's th these people are sitting right near the kitchen door. Um, or one of the accesses to the kitchen, but I think that's okay. I think that is going to lead to increased efficiency with our staff. And there we are, 1,700 hours. Only a few more hours left to bring customers in. And they are not pouring in, I will say. They just certainly are not pouring in. Maybe it's like a, my dishes are too expensive. The only issue is, like as you can see, our profit margin is pretty tight. So I don't want to lower prices too much. I don't want to lower prices and discover that that's not what it is. I mean, we could try. It will make profits tighter, but that is more like a real restaurant. And then once people start streaming in, theoretically, we'd be making more money. Yeah, because see, like, that's not fun to see. Okay, let's see if we can get some more folks in here. 1,900 hours. Can you guys get in? There's another single table, maybe. And that seems to be it. So whoever we have here, that's it. That's all we're serving. And most of them are already fed. Another day, another dollar here at Recipe for Disaster at Shea Solide, a restaurant that I am very proud of. Like, yes, I would love to see it packed right now and definitely hit me up in the comments a little what I did wrong, uh, if anything. But I uh, am just so proud of the way this restaurant has turned out. Day 55 here in uh, whatever town we are in, and they have a new flagship restaurant taking up a full city block, which I could be like four different condo buildings, but no, it is this massive restaurant that I am honored. A school bus just arrived. Oh, I love it. Uh, I guess filled with school students <laughs> to come in. I, I am honored to have this giant footprint here and to serve delicious meals that most people uh, seem to be pretty happy with. Uh, that okay, that led to a lot of people showing up, so this is getting a little busier. Just a little bit of uh, background. I did also do a save and reload the game uh, to see if that would help bring in some more people, but it does seem to be something that I'm doing wrong, so feel free to litter me in the comments below. But I think we have a, a final, a complete, and a very beautiful uh, restaurant on here. Just like uh, admiring the folks dining outside. Um, there we go, get rid of those. Admiring all the folks dining outside here. Uh, oh, that's a good that's a good shot right there. Look at that. Look how nice that is. That's just great. I mean, look how happy these folks are. I mean, just look at how happy they are with their uh, with their meals uh, or with their conversation and their meals that are about to get delivered here. I re man, do I really love recipe for disaster. <laughs> All right, here comes the dishes for these bright, shining, smiley faces. Thank you so much, Kylie Reynolds, for delivering their meal. She's just telling them about what they ordered. It looks like we got somebody who ordered the lettuce wraps. Uh, I wish I could click on them. What do they order here? This guy likes boiled milk, and he's patient. A big tipper who also likes boiled milk. And this person who likes fried potatoes. It looks like they had a great time. I don't know why you ordered the lettuce wraps. We have a lot of fried options, but I'm glad you chose to be slightly healthy today, sir. It looks like another completely satisfied customer here at Shea Solid. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. I, okay, let's take a quick last tour here. So I love the diner's section here. This is looking nice. This bathroom is still in good shape as well. The stranger's dining area, a little controversial, but most of you in the comments seem to enjoy the idea. I think it just looks nice. It looks almost like we could pretend that large families are coming here to sit around the fire and rent this like sort of somewhat private area. I was asked for OCD's sake to kind of level this divide off a little bit, and I could. I could, but I, I mean, I could, but I also, you know, don't, like, don't want to. One, two, three, four. 
What is that? Three? Okay, fine. The last thing I'll do to res in respect of the people that wish things lined up a little better, I will uh, grab and move this. Move this one to there. All right, and I will delete this wall right there. All right. Okay. And then we'll put, yeah, do this. There we go. The final adjustment made to the restaurant. Are you happy? I hope you are. A little more symmetrical there. It, I mean, you know what? Honestly, it does look pretty nice. <laughs> Folks continue, continue to clamor up to this restaurant. Oh, it's 1945, so I guess they're not coming in. I, I thought that was people coming in, but another beautiful evening here on the patio inside the dining room area. I actually quite like the Christmas tree room. It's very nice. <laughs> Excellent work, Scott. Serve him his dish, but go away. Go somewhere else now, because now you're just, like, throwing him off, I think. Come on, get, just, here. Just go over there, please. Just, like, leave him alone for a bit, so he can, like, stare out the window and, and think about his, oh, he's done, okay. And, and, you know, think about his day. Now he's got to get back, of course. He had a nice meal. Oh, he's probably just finished work. You know, and so did she. She's probably just finished work. She nice, wants to eat a nice meal and then, and then go home to her condo across the street. I think this place has a good spot in the community. I think we could have gone further decorating this area and filling it out. We didn't really need to, though. Uh, but some more storage could have been good in this area. And uh, overall, I think this was a very successful kitchen design. Center column with the serving thing at the bottom there. A little break room here, which I think is still... Yeah, so if you're having your break there, you're going to be decently happy. Oh, another level up for Steven. Uh, yes, do international chef. Oh, he was a cleaner, though. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, no fires to speak of. We kept it clean enough. And so everybody goes home after getting a nice wage and heads off for another day, another dollar. Hope you found this to be some truly solid content. I know I certainly did. I enjoyed myself very much. I hope you liked the restaurant, obviously, as much as I did. Here's a nice little view here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a restaurant. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, and we will see you all in the next video of whatever it is. Uh, that we decide to play. This one here, I think we're concluded with. But once Recipe for Disaster comes up with some new content or I come up with a new restaurant idea, you better believe I am going to be back to playing it. But until then, we'll see you in the next videos. Bye!